Hi everyone, I'm Ta Custom, and on this video we're going to show you how to sew your own zipper pocket into pretty much any project. It's very quick and easy, uh, so we'll show you everything you need to get started right now. Now here's all my tools and materials. So for my fabric, I've got a cotton wool denim blend. Anything that doesn't stretch will be great for this. Uh, different cutting tools. This is something called Wonder Tape. It's a double-sided washable tape, and I'll show you how this works when we get to the zipper. And if you don't have that, you can also use basting spray. Uh, then we've just got a standard 7-inch zipper, which is going to work great for this project. I use nice bright colors, so I, hopefully this looks good on camera. Now to start, we've just got a square of fabric that we're going to put our zipper pocket into. Uh, this is something that I might sew into a tote bag or a messenger bag, or this might be a jacket. Anything where you want a zipper pocket to be. So I'm just going to clean up the edges, and this thing is pretty much ready to go. And now we need to get what is going to be our pocket bag for this. Now I'm going to pull my zipper out. This is a 7 inch zipper from the zipper pull to the stopper here. It's actually about 9 inches total. So I want to get this on a piece of fabric and this is going to be the width of our pocket. So I'm going to kind of trim the sides in a little bit. Alright, so that looks good for the width. And then the length is just however long you need your pocket to be folded in half. Because this is going to fold in half at the end. So my pocket will be this large at the end of our project. All right, now you can put your zipper aside. We don't need that for a moment. And I want to just take my pocket fabric here and I want to see the back side of it. So I'm going to flip this wrong side up so that we're looking at just kind of this top section right here. So I turn my pocket bag sideways and I want to look about an inch and a half from the top of the pocket bag fabric here. And I'm going to line up my ruler and we're going to draw a seven inch line where the zipper is going to go. So I'm going to start with a line. I'm using a ballpoint pen just because this won't bleed through the fabric. I'm drawing this a little thicker so it shows up on camera. I hope that's okay. Uh, and then I need to account for the width of the zipper teeth here. So I'm going to do a parallel line to that that's maybe about three eighths of an inch. Yeah, half an inch is a safe place to start, but you don't want to go any wider than half an inch. Now, once I have my two parallel lines, I'm just going to close the ends so that it makes a nice long rectangle. All right, so there's our rectangle. It's okay if it looks a little sloppy like mine does. Now you want to pull your primary fabric of where your pocket is going to go. And I'm going to put this right here, and then I want to kind of center this rectangle so it's kind of towards the top because most of the time you want your pockets at the top of a bag or the top of a jacket or something like that. Now I'm just going to pin these fabrics together kind of around that rectangle. Uh, it is a really good idea to use interfacing on actually both panels of fabric so that everything stays nice and flat. But uh, just for the sake of this, I just want to do a nice, simple, easy demo to help you guys learn how to put a zipper pocket into anything. All right, so we've got our fabric prepped. Now we're gonna jump on the sewing machine and we're just gonna sew a big rectangle right on those lines right there. And then we'll come back and show you what's next. All right, so jump on your sewing machine and I put black thread in here just so it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, but I'm gonna start at the top left corner and I wanna just slowly lower the needle right into uh, that top corner there. And I'm just gonna sew and I'll do a single back stitch here. I'm going to sew all the way across, and then I'll stop right on that corner, lift up my foot, do a pivot, and one more pivot. And if you don't hit the lines perfectly, that's okay as long as your lines are straight. Alright, one last pivot, and then we will go back to where we started. Alright, now I'm going to cut my threads, and then let's jump back on the table, and we'll show you what's next. Now I'm going to take out all my pins here, then kind of clean up any threads that are hanging out. Perfect. Uh, now uh, this isn't totally necessary, but I'm going to draw a center line kind of right down the middle of this so I know exactly where to cut it. Now what we want to do here is we want to cut this open and on the ends we want to cut these little diagonal lines kind of like that. Uh, if you've ever done a just standard welt pocket, it's the same setup for that. Um, but I'm just going to draw this on the fabric so you can see where exactly we're going to cut it. So we're going to cut it right down the middle and then right on these corners. Um, if you don't have a rotary cutter, uh, which I prefer using for this, you can start with a pair of scissors. All you have to do to start is fold the fabric in half. 
and then just do a little bit of a snip right on that center line to open it up. Now I can just use scissors to cut this all the way from end to end. Anyway, to finish up the ends, then I'm just gonna cut along that line. When I get to that little triangle there, I'm gonna cut into the corner of the rectangle. And it's really important that you get as close as you possibly can to those stitches without cutting through the stitches. If you don't get all the way there, the fabric will kind of bunch up and it looks kind of weird. But this just takes a little bit of practice, so do a few of them if you need to. All right, now we're just going to do the other side, and we will see what we do next. And just as a little close-up, well, you can see I tried to get as close as I could to cutting that right into that corner all the way around, okay? Now, you should have something that looks like this. Uh, so now what we need to do is we're going to take all this fabric from the pocket, and we're going to just kind of stuff it through the hole and pull it out the back side of the front panel. If you've never done this before, it feels and looks kind of weird, like you're doing something wrong, but just kind of <laughs> stick with it and try to get all the fabric on the backside. Now, this will not want to lay flat, so I'm going to heat up my iron, and I'm going to do my best to lay this flat kind of like this, and I'm going to really kind of roll these seams around this rectangle, and I'm going to press that just like that, so we have a nice, clean, square opening just like that. So I'm going to go press this, and I'll be right back. All right, so I just finished pressing this, and that looks great from the back side. And what is most important is how does it look from the front? Um, so if you get any kind of puckering or bunching in the corners, that means you just need to clip it a little bit closer to the stitches. Like on this one, for example, I did not do a great job, and I had a little bit of a pleat kind of starting to form here, and you can iron it out. But anyway, this just takes a little bit of practice, but it was that easy to get to this point. Now we have to figure out how we're going to get our zipper to stay in there so that we can finish our zipper pocket. Now grab your zipper, and uh, this is where I'm going to use this Wonder Tape. And if you don't have this, I have a backup solution for you. But this is a double-sided washable tape. Uh, so I'm going to pull out about 5 inches and cut it there. And we need two pieces of this. One is going to be for the top, and one is going to be for the bottom. All right, now that should be more than enough. Uh, let's start with the bottom. So I'm gonna take this tape, now it's sticky on the back where my thumbs are touching it here, and I'm gonna put it as close to the edge as I can, because I want this to be kind of hidden. Uh, and I'm just gonna kind of put it on there, then I'm gonna really kind of roll it out so it stays nice and sticky to this thing here. All right, so that feels like it's on there pretty good. Now, it'll be kind of hard to see it when I take this tape off because it's pretty transparent, but I'm going to pull this. Oh, I think you can still see it. All right, now I'm left with uh, the sticky side face up now, which is great. I know it might seem more natural to flip your fabric from the back and then put this on here, but you don't really get a good idea of where the zipper is going to show up. So I like to just leave this just like that, and it is quite sticky, so don't touch it too much. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I like for my zipper pull to be on the left for some reason. That's just my thing. And I'm going to just lay this right over the zipper so that this left edge of the rectangle is just barely touching the head of the zipper. And I kind of hold it with two fingers and pull this over to where the other side is so that the zipper teeth are right in the middle of that rectangle the whole time. Now, I'm just going to kind of start pressing from the center and just smoothing it out. This is all temporary for right now until we sew it. So now is the time when we get this to look exactly how we want it to look. Now I'm very firmly pressing down on where that sticky wonder tape is right there. So that looks pretty good. You can even try out your zipper to make sure that it looks right. Oh yeah, and if you don't have wonder tape, I'll show you my backup plan for this. So I'm going to actually just pull the zipper off. And here's my backup plan. You can use a, a basting spray or basting adhesive and you can shake it up. Here, I'll use this as a little mask. So on the back side of where your zipper is going to go, you can just spray this stuff on the back. And then when you take a zipper without the sticky tape and put it on there, it'll just stick. Um, and it'll hold long enough for you to sew it in place. And you won't see any of this uh, adhesive stuff 
on the front because we sprayed it onto the back. So that's another good option for uh, just getting your zipper to stick to the back while you sew it. But now we actually have both here. So this thing is not gonna move at all. All right, so anyway, really quickly, one last time, I'm just gonna put this where it's supposed to go. Now that our zipper is nice and fixed on the fabric, we're gonna jump onto the sewing machine and we're gonna do a top stitch as close as we can to that edge of that teal denim fabric. All right, so I'm at my machine here and I loaded in some red threads so it'll match our zipper. And I'm gonna put a zipper foot in here just because I think it'll be a little bit easier to see and get close to this edge here. Now I'm gonna start by opening the zipper just a couple inches so I can get right up to this edge of fabric here. I move my needle all the way to the left. When I put my foot down, I want this needle to go like really close to that corner right there. That should be a good start. So I'm gonna do a couple forward stitches right on that edge and then back stitch. Now, I wanna get right on that edge of that teal denim right there. So go as slow as you need to. And when I get up to the zipper pull, I'm actually gonna lift the foot and I'm gonna pull it back. That way we don't have to sew around it at all. Now I'm just gonna go all the way to the edge. Now when I get to my first corner, same thing as before, lift up, do a pivot, go down. Uh, if you are sewing across the zipper teeth, which I'm not, uh, feel free to go really slow. If you're using plastic teeth, that's usually okay, but if you've got a metal zipper, you might want to do that part by hand, but that looks fine. Now I'm just going to go all the way back. Now as I get to the end, I'm going to do the same thing where I move the zipper head again so we get a nice clean finish. All right, one last pivot. I'm just going to close that other end there. When I get to where I started, I always like to do a little bit of a back stitch just to close that up. All right, now I'm gonna cut my thread and we can go clean this up and then sew the pocket bag together. Perfect, so we have our zippers sewn into our opening right here. Uh, I don't see any of that wonder tape on either side, so this looks really clean. Uh, and you can have fun with different colored threads there. Uh, I already trimmed my threads here and you can test this to make sure that it works, so that is fine. Now all we have left to do is just to sew the pocket bag shut. So I'm gonna flip this over and you should see something that looks like that. And all I have to do is just lift up the bottom of the pocket bag. We're gonna match it up with the top of uh, that panel of fabric there. And I'm just gonna pin these corners like that. And you don't need to pin through the front, just through the two layers of pocket fabric here. Now I'm just going to put some more pins and then I'm going to press the bottom of this so this stays nice and flat here. So you should have something that looks like this and we are just one stitch away from this whole thing being finished. So we're going to sew from the bottom left corner up to here over to the other side and then back down to the bottom and that will sew our entire pocket shut. Uh, the way I like to do it is I will look at the front like this and turn it upside down and then when I pull away the right side here, I can sew through the pocket bag without sewing through the front. When I get to the corner, I'll pull this up and then I'll sew across. And then when I get here, I'll sew all the way down to the end and then we are finished. All right, now I'm gonna switch back to my standard foot because I don't need a zipper foot anymore. And I'm just gonna switch back to regular black thread. Now we've got our fabric here, and again, I'm gonna flip this upside down and peel back the right side so that we're looking at the bottom of our pocket right here. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of our pocket. I'm gonna center my needle. I'm just gonna sew with a back stitch, and we're gonna go all the way up to the corner. Definitely take out the pins in your corners so that your presser foot doesn't get stuck. We do a pivot. I try to sew as close as I can to kind of the top seam here. All right, now when I get to this last corner, we're gonna do one more pivot and then just sew all the way to the bottom. All right, and we are all done. All right, so here we are at the table and uh, we just did that stitch to close out our pocket bag here. Now I normally trim away some of that seam right there just to keep this from being too bulky. 
Uh, this is totally optional, but I definitely like to do at least the top part here. All right, so we're all set. And I don't typically uh, serge or finish these seams because it's usually hidden on the inside of lining of a bag or a jacket or something. Uh, but on the outside, it should look nice and clean like this. And lots of times I'll use vinyl or embroidery to decorate this before I put a zipper there. But you should be able to open this and you will have your finished zipper pocket right here. So hopefully that made sense and you ended up with your own zipper pocket. All right, everyone, we're all set. So hopefully this helped you make your first ever zipper pocket. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. and We will see you in the next video.